my first thought was I was like, well, I mean, yeah, it'd be cool, but I'm not sure, you know, quads can really jump all that stuff out there. Then I was, you know, talking to you, and you're like, yeah, he'll bust everything, and I'm kind of like, all right, whatever, Blake, you can come ride. <laughs> What I can do and see how it plays out. You know, the paces are a little steeper than what we're used to, and everything seems to get mild on the quad side. But come from my place at home to this, it's not a huge transition, but it's fun to ride. And uh, I hope to uh, just see what we can do and see how fast we are. Honestly, don't know what to think. Um, I'm kind of, I'm really excited actually because I just want to see him hit those jumps on a bike. You know, you you have to just like I'm so used to scrubbing everything, and you're constantly leaning and moving the bike, and so not all the jumps are straight on. And I'm excited to see how we can maneuver that. Is that like you got that under control, huh? 100. Quads I like come are, are four jumps on a supercross track. The only Todd the quad god is Josh Hill jumping four at a time. I don't know about this uh, four wheel stuff. This is a four wheel guy right here. The frontier. I'm gonna take the quad on the frontier. What do you think? You MX, to, MX versus ATV versus Nissan Frontier. <laughs> pumps come out and check everything out uh, you know I've only seen videos of it and those guys rip and then coming out here man it's uh, impressive to watch uh, somebody of his caliper just go that fast and just rip every moto and every lap just dials. <laughs> I've like just jumped like a little like bump on a quad and it's like the thing goes like this and it bounces all over the place. The first thing I saw him jump I think was the um, finish line jump on the supercross track and I thought there's no way. And he just went like right over it like first time and I was like, I was just like, that was so sketchy. <laughs> you get a lot of ruts on a bike track and a quad track just gets blue grooved over. And that's pretty much why neither of them want to ride with the other because quads can't deal with the ruts where the bikes can go through them and bikes can't ride on the dry slick like we can. So it makes for almost impossible to be on the same track at the same time. Growing up in Oklahoma, the dirt's pretty hard. So you like, you cherish the days that like are loamy and sweet and like good ruts. And then you see a quad and you're like, there goes riding for the day. Track packers, it can't be too hard. You just slide through every corner. I ride my couch every day, which is a serious deal. I tell you, I got made fun of a lot so when I ride my bike and put a thumb throttle on it so they, uh, they don't dig that. Like, how much does a quad weigh? Like, 400 pounds? Yeah, it's twice as much as a dirt bike. And, and you don't really have the gyro of the quad. I mean, you do, but the bike has such a gyro that you're able to move with and then the front tire you're moving. I just think a quad like going sideways and basically just staying there and just tumble. Obviously I knew what his skills were and seeing that everybody knows what bike skills are, but nobody knew the quad side. It's a big machine to be throwing around and, and jumping. I don't know, it's, it's pretty cool.
ruined every rut though. Trey let me come out here. It's kind of like uh, me letting a serious go-kart come out to the house and just try to rip it up, but uh, it just ain't happening, so it's a pretty big honor for him to let me come out here.